a race for glory, remembered in the hearts of many. A season full of drama, exploding with fierce rivalries. J-League, battle for the championship. Let's go back to 2007, a year ending with a historical victory. The year 2007 welcomed the J-League's 15th anniversary. Boasting stars such as Kazuyoshi Miura and Tatsuhiko Kubo, Yokohama FC was promoted to J1. Everyone very, very excited. Nagoya, led by Dutch coach Verhorsen got off to a bright start. In his third year as a pro, Keisuke Honda's goal on the opening day gave Nagoya a victorious start. Four wins in a row put them in pole position. Yeah, sure, after a winning game uh, and four times in a row, we make an excellent start. And as a result, I think discipline and hard working. Not for long, though, things deteriorated for Nagoya. Into the spotlight went Gamba Osaka. Under the leadership of tactician Akira Nishino, star-studded Gamba's explosive attack led to victory after victory. Brazilian Barre, having joined from Fanfore, took his opportunity. Having started on the bench on the opening day, he scored game after game and established his authority in the team. Two goals against Jubilo gave a well-deserved lead at the top for Gamba after match week seven. Acho que é o resultado do nosso esforço, né? Eu acho que difícil chegar aí, mas o mais difícil ainda é manter na ponta. Então a gente vai ter que trabalhar bastante para procurar manter esses bons resultados. Gamba continue to impress, beating opponent after opponent. Chasing Gamba were the defending champions, Urawa Reds, losing the famous Buffalt as coach the year before. In stepped fellow German Osiek. Reds actually struggled earlier in the season, but slowly but surely, things started to work. <laughs> Leading the pack was creator Ponte, a formidable player involved in almost all of Reds' attacks. É verdade, dentro de casa a gente não pode perder pontos e hoje felizmente conseguimos três pontos que nos deu uma distância menor para o primeiro colocado e agora é ficar em cima e procurar o primeiro lugar que nosso lugar é lá em cima, não no meio, no meio da tabela. Voted the MVP of the year, the Brazilian midfielder spearheaded Urawa's efforts for the championship in two consecutive years. Match week 20, leaders Gamba and Reds in second place battle it out. Gamba had beaten Reds in the Super Cup before the season started. With the home support, they looked to bombard Reds goal. The scoreline, however, 
does not move. 62nd minute. Ponte's fabulous assist is smacked in. What a finish by Nagai. Reds achieve a crucial win away, guarding their lead. やっぱりレッツのスタイルがやっぱり最後までまあディフェンスの強さっていうのはねやっぱり随一だしまあこれを破れないとうちのやっぱり攻撃っていうスタイルもねなかなか評価されないと思うんでこういう形を破りたいな
but fighting in the ACL2 may have been one step too far. Crowned as the number one in Asia, the jubilant players were actually burnt out. Three draws followed after playing Nagoya in match week 30. Glory, two years in a row, it started to look dodgy. Antlers sit in the driving seat. Seven wins on the trot from match week 26. Four points separated the leaders, Reds, and in second place, Antlers. Match week 33, Antlers arrive at Reds' back garden to fight it out. A draw was enough for Reds. They hurled themselves at Antlers' goal. Iwamasa leads the Antlers defense to keep the opposition at bay. However, at the stroke of half time, Araiba is given a second yellow for Antlers. A victory is the only option for them in desperate straits after the sending off. Everyone was convinced of a Reds victory, but in the 66th minute, What a fantastic finish from Nozawa. Nozawa scores to give life to Antlers. Spurred on by 62,123 supporters, Reds explode into action. But Antlers hold out for a historical defensive performance. On to the final week, only a point between the two. The final match week. Reds only needed a victory against bottom team Yokohama FC. With relegation fixed, Yokohama FC looked to be finished, but the unthinkable follows. King Kaz, as everyone calls him. Could legend Kazuyoshi Miura assists for Yokohama FC. The Reds players looked in disbelief. Meanwhile, Antlers are against Espos at home. A victory has to be on the menu. The main man strikes to the pleasure of the home fans.
Olga Sawara's goal gives Antlers the lead in the first half. Reds, however, cannot find their groove at Nissan Stadium. Yokohama FC had conceded the second worst tally of 66 goals that year. But Reds, they just could not break them down. Antlers, meanwhile, cannot be stopped. to Antlers. The whole of Japan waits the news. Unbelievably, Reds could not bring out the goals. Losing to Yokohama FC, they failed to win in the last five games, missing the double. So the winners, Kishima Antlers. Nine wins in a row, a miraculous upheaval. Not once did they lead the table, but only on the final day. Fifth championship for Antlers, the tenth title in the club's history. ピッチで戦っている人とここにいるあのスタジアムにいる全ての人へ取らせてもらった優勝だと思います。やはり何年か苦しんで取った優勝なんですごく嬉しいです。チームの歴史にまた一つ1ページ刻めたので良かったです。